Okay, hi guys. It's uh, another day. I think it's day four now. Very human day. Very, yes. Very and, human and day. And it's also really, really late <laughs> time for the day. But we are in Austin. Yay! Okay, let's go check out. We're finally getting out of the house and we're gonna go have a breakfast? Lunch. It's a, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's go check out the rest of the crew. I think there should be a car waiting for us. Hey guys! I'm battling with the Eugene's Pokemon. I'm trying. Hey, guys! Bunny pop. What are we gonna do now? We're going someplace to Aiden, Austin, Texas. We're at our destination right now. Yes, exciting. Yes. Yesterday was a very exciting day, and uh, you know, it, the, it did not. They're fun, exciting. The adventures did not stop after we, you know, said bye, guys. We got off the highway because we were hoping that the rain would come down. Yeah, well, it, it felt like you're in a car wash, except for you were sandwiched between two semi trucks on top of that. And you couldn't really see anything. So then we wanted to. For, well, the first plan was to wait it out until we looked at the and realized that uh -uh, we'll be here until 3 o'clock. Then we figured we'll take streets, but then the flood warning, the flash flood warning comes in. So we figure we have absolutely no clue about the area, so we're much, much safer staying on the highway because that thing is definitely not a, not a, not a factor. We, it looks like we actually hit a, an opening of some sort in the clouds, and uh, we ended up blasting our way through all the way to the uh, to the place we're staying it was around 11 o'clock i think by the time we got to the airbnb yeah by 11 20 something yes and it also took us a little while to find it because it was a it was in a very quiet neighborhood very like tucked away and very difficult dark streets so we had to actually get out of the car and walk around and look for the you know finding trying to find the, the building numbers yeah with the cell phone light <laughs> with the cell phone light yeah you know we did well but and after that my sister got in uh that was even later than that my sister hi uh, they picked me up on the highway on the way from dallas to austin no i was hitchhiking and they're <laughs> like that one she'll entertain the little ones yeah that's what we're doing normally <laughs> and now they're calling me sister this might be some sort of a cult i'm not sure yet <laughs> um but we're not all wearing the same thing so i'm feeling pretty good about it so far it'll be good it'll be good <laughs> Landed around. Ooh, your flight was delayed because of the weather conditions, so she didn't actually get in. She was supposed to get in around 11 o'clock. Instead, she landed around like 1:30. So we didn't go to sleep until like 2:20 as the adults. So that sort of kind of explains a very late start for the day. But we are trying to find a place to eat. Olga said that we should go and eat a chewy. And after that, we possibly will be going to a couple of museums because the weather is still frowning. So it's a little bit raining. Okay, so this was a recommendation. We were told we absolutely have to stop by shoes. They don't take reservations, they don't call, take callings. So the little guy fell asleep. So we're gonna leave Alex here. And he says he might actually take a nap himself while we're waiting for food. Are you hungry? Yes! But right now we're going to Chewy. And it's Tex Max. What do you think Tex Max is? I don't huh? Know. What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? Watch out where you're going. I think it's Watch. a whole it's a whole bunch of bacon wrapped up in cheese. Uh -huh. So that's te that's Tex Mex, it's bacon. Wrapped up in cheese. Oh,
it's still raining. So, and the funny thing is, it's already 3.40. Actually, it's probably gonna stop raining very soon. I'd like that, because it doesn't look like we're gonna leave the car otherwise. It's like a whole day in Austin, we saw nothing. I mean, yes, we saw, what, where did you go? We went to eat, where? Chewy. Chewy. We went to Chewy. And, ah. I, and I saw the airport. Oh yes, you saw an airport. So we're trying right now, we're just trying to literally just at least drive around and look at things. Oh, we saw a lizard. Lizard. We did see a food trucks, but we I want to see we actually go and eat at the food trucks. It was rainy, so it wasn't really all that fun. I have this memory of me being a perfect mom where I used to do everything the right way. Ah! So parents of the perfect children, they're not getting better than, you know, parents of the perfect children. So look at that one. I'm perfect. No, you, no, it was not perfect with that one. I was perfect with that one. Me? Yep. And, uh, but I was two days late. Now here is this one. Me being, this is the hey. opposite of perfect. I actually forgot his shoes, so he and he needs to walk around. He doesn't really want to sleep anyway. So he is. So he is walking around barefoot, and that's it. That's just how he wants to. Do. Well, if he obviously if I catch his shoes, he'd be wearing shoes, but. rolled up into a ball. Gross. So far. Oh, we saw a, a, a tree garden hole, but uh, if it was any t any part of uh, uh, a greenhouse that was, uh, they used to be on the premises, it's way over 100 years old.
Yeah, this is a bad breed. This is where people come to look at the breed of the bats. Because this is the season where the bats migrate. So we're hoping to see some. So we just came back from the Bad Bridge, which was actually pretty cool to see. And uh, we sort of kind of started wondering how come there are so many bats that are coming out at the same time from under the bridge. And it is what we found out. There's like 700,000 of them or something. And it's a combination of uh, a couple of species of bats. And uh, they, they're going out to hunt right about this time they're leaving as, as a wave so that's why it becomes such a spectacular event that everybody's just getting around to watch it. They're all pregnant female bats. Yep. Like 750,000 pregnant female bats. Oh my god! <laughs> so they all migrated here from Mexico and um, yeah and so they're actually staying here for a while until like November but this is the, what's considered to be a migration period for them because they uh, because uh, they vary because first of all it's a humongous colony and they all come out right before the sunset they all come out and they go hunting because they're very hungry and later on they do each of them give birth and they all give birth at the same time one pop I think one pop that is one third of their size they stash them all in the same in the north part of the bridge because there are just cracks in like the spacings in the bridge and that's where they all are so they stack them all up in the nursery and then they are a little bit in the southern part of the bridge like close to it and uh, they still go and they still hunt uh, until you know, but they go like a little bit later on. So this is considered to be the best time to actually come out and see the bats. They come out every evening and then they out hunting for the insects and then they're back by morning. Before we go to bed, I want to put this video together to make sure it gets uploaded. And that's about it. We'll see you back tomorrow, guys. Pregnant bye bats. Bye. Pregnant bats. Go pregnant, pregnant bats. bats. Yeah, they're so yeah. hungry because they're pregnant. Go, go seven And they hunt. Thousand <laughs> pregnant bat, uh, mosquito eating pregnant bats. What? Kill the mosquitoes. How are they all pregnant? Yes, yeah. how are they? That's, I guess, that might that be is a, really good question. a question about the pregnant bats and bees. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.